God rewards the works of faith. He shows us how to fast, how to even give charity. Yes, how to pray. How to pray. So if we pray like this, we will not receive reward. Mm. But if we pray like this, we receive reward. Yes. Then you say that there's nothing you give in the kingdom that you'll be rewarded. Because when you do it, you do out of love. Jesus said, I have not asked anybody to seek me in vain. Mm -hmm. Has he asked anybody to seek no. him faith? No, he said that. No. That's why love is powerful, but faith is also powerful. And there is reward for everything you do in the sure. kingdom. That's sure. it. So check the principle of rewards. Sure. You will Reward understand. Of those who diligently, diligently seek him. And rewards, some can receive higher, some can receive oh, yes. lesser. Yes. Because you read the book of Matthew, it's there, yes, sure. life and colored. You can mm -hmm. see it. So you need to understand, comprehend what is what is written wow. because there's length, height, width, breadth yes. of the love of Christ yes, in the sure. word of God. And the Bible says you get things according to the power within you. Mm. How do you keep the power within? By meditating and putting the word of God inside of you. Mm. When you are full of the word, then you can get things out of the word. Hallelujah. So the principle doesn't work the way people assert it works. Mm. No. It works in the structure of the Lord, not your own mindset. Yes. Because they are spiritually discerned.
The word rapture is not actually in the Bible. Mm -hmm. What is in the Bible is caught up. So instead of caught up, we can use rapture. Mm -hmm. The great tribulation is seven years. Okay. But in the seven years, the Antichrist will be introduced to the world. Mm -hmm. He will show the world some kind of false peace for the whole world to give their power. That means that something would have happened upon the earth that will cause the whole world to give their power to what? Mm -hmm. To one person. So the abomination of desolation is when they cease the church from praying, gathering, sacrificing, giving, worshiping, the church is scattered. That is what the Lord is saying. When you see it, let those who are in Judea, it means Judea is a city, is a nation, flee to the mountains. Sure. That is where you can find refuge. Mm. For then there will be great tribulation. What is the measurement of judgment? Mm. That someone should be killed and another should just be taken. And then we are likening it to Enoch and all of that. Enoch did not go to heaven. The Bible clearly says that everybody that at that time that died went to Abraham bosom who worshipped God, including Abraham. He said, as yet no one knows the way to the holiest. Mm. Why have it been prepared for you to go? Jesus said, I am the one who brought the way. So Jesus is giving his people advanced knowledge that when those times happen, there will be people who try to introduce someone mm. as the Christ. That is why he's called the Antichrist. Sure. Do not believe it. Do it. They will show even signs and wonders, mm. scientific knowledge, scientific signs to deceive many. If it were even possible, the elect. Mm. Elect means what? The saints who are in Christ Jesus, mm. who have been elected to inherit the kingdom. Mm. The 144,000 people, the Lord is a king. Mm. Kings don't move alone. They move with entourage, they move with soldiers, mm. army. That's why he will come as a king with his majestic word, throne. And the dead in Christ will rise first. This is the first thing that the Lord has spoken. Mm. If there was going to be a rapture, the Lord was not clear about it. Mm. The dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we who are alive, together shall be caught up. Mm. This is the word that is called rapture. He's telling you the succession. There will be the voice of the archangel. There will be the trumpet. And then the dead in Christ shall rise. And then before this, those people who are alive and remain mm -hmm. shall be caught up together with them in the cloud. So we will meet, meet the, the Lord. Lord. Yeah. We will meet, this is the rapture. Jesus will not step foot upon the earth. We will meet Jesus in the air. So nobody is going seven years before time. Check the word of God. This is the great tribulation for you. If a man sits for the devil to sway your wife off, the punishment will come upon your wife and yourself yes. and the whole family. There are people who have wonderful husbands, wonderful wives, but because they always want foreign ideologies, yes. foreign stuff, they end up collapsing their own marriages. Mm. Then they realize that their friends who are even talking those things, that is not a reality yes. on the grounds. Because their people are very deceptive. They mm -hmm. carry the tongue of the devil. That is why the devil is so much against marriages today. Because once the man assumes the leadership of the family as a head, everything begins to fall in place. And I'm not talking about irresponsible men. I'm talking about responsible men because sure. Christ is a responsible what? head. Mm -hmm. Christ is the head of the church. So if we really want how to run the church, we go to what? Christ. If we want the giftings to the church, we go to Christ. Mm -hmm. Christ is never apart from the church. No. He's always in the midst of his church. That is how a husband should be able to do in the midst of his marriage. Mm. It's a wonder, 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 it's a wonder. Word of Life with the Lord's General, Prophet John Anachi. Good morning, wonderful viewers. You're welcome to the Word of Life live broadcast with Prophet John Anachi, the prelate of the Worldwide Word Ministries, the Hill City Church, and the John Anachi Ministries. I'm Apostle Chris Bidema, and I'm here live in the studio with the anointed Prophet of God. Let's pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you and we bless your holy name. We thank you for this day that you have made. We thank you for your word that is coming forth. Father, we thank you that the entrance of your word gives light and it gives understanding to the simple. We receive your word with meekness and we thank you that we're blessed by your word. In Jesus' precious name, 
Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It is always, always, always a joy to come your way. And the man of God, you know, is sent of God, anointed with the Holy Spirit and with power. And he's a teacher of God's holy word. Hallelujah. I want you to get your Bible, get your notebook, your tablet, whatever you need to take down notes and also do well to share the broadcast so others can be blessed along with you. We're live right now on YouTube. We have two YouTube channels. We have the prophet John Anotri channel and then the Worldwide Word television channel. So do well to share the link so that others can be blessed. Even if you're watching us on your TV set right now, we're also live on Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV. We're also on apps on iOS and then Android. For all of them, it's Worldwide Word television, Worldwide Word television. Also at a point to open up the phone lines. If time permits, you can reach us on 0302 507-154-0302-507-154. I'll do well to read your comments, especially on the Prophet John Anotri channel because of time. So if you have any comments, there's anything you'd like us to know, any question you'd like to ask, please post it there and I'll do well to read it. Good morning to you, the Lord's General. Yes, good morning, Apostle. Yes, uh, man of God, last week you taught um, a very important subject, something um, you said the Lord has laid on your heart and already mm -hmm. we're seeing signs in the body of Christ. And so many have been blessed, many are looking forward to today's broadcast and I'm so thankful to God that you're here today. So man of God, we want you to continue with uh, the teaching that you started last week about marriage and why the enemy has such an interest in marriages and breaking marriages and what believers can do to safeguard uh, marriages. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, we want to bless the name of Jesus Thank for you, Lord Jesus. Um, the word of the Lord that the Lord mm. has brought for us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, the excitement that everything is contained in his word. Amen. Amen. So thank you, my dear Holy Spirit, yes, Lord. for your power and your glory that is at work in our lives. Amen. Amen. And then also um, to say thank you and God bless you to all our viewers the viewers of um, Metro TV and uh, people who are also watching from around the world through uh, various platforms and sure. television mediums um, connected. Amen. And uh, Amen. I want to say God bless you to all our partners, the partners of John Anoche Ministries. Amen. God bless you so much for um, this broadcast is by, you know, your kind um, you know, gifts that mm -hmm. you've been given uh, towards the things of God. Amen. Amen. So that we can continue to bring the word of God to people, families, homes, uh, children of God, pray for people and rescue people from the bondage of slavery in the name of Jesus. So Amen. we want to thank God for this opportunity given unto us by the Holy Spirit to be a blessing unto all of you. Say amen to that. Amen. And those of you who are watching, please share the broadcast, amen, so that somebody can also be blessed, amen. Amen. I think last week, especially those of them who are going through marital issues, mm -hmm. whether men or women, so they can actually, um, you know, watch and be blessed, amen. Amen. Yes, um, I think, Apostle, um, there's something that I always talk about, um, that addresses uh, every crisis in marriage. Mm. Um, and the word is about love. 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 I think that we need to, not to redefine love, but we need to go back to the basis of love. And then, so that we can from there um, understand when the Lord talks about love, what it means. Mm. Amen. Amen. I think that we, as children of God, have defined our own terms of love. Mm. And, um, um, and, I, and I think um, when it comes to that one, we, we are not doing well. Mm. So we need to, by the power of the Spirit of God, go back to the word of the Lord, the basics, mm -hmm. and learn from there what love really sure. means. Because um, the kind of love that um, Jesus, um, you know, by his, by his scriptures explains to mm -hmm. us, it's not a kind that we have understood no. and practiced over the years. Um, the, the Bible says you may have all the gifts. You may have all the um, operations of the gifts of the spirit. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have love, um, you are like... Um, 
you know, a tin of, um, of anything, mm. substance that is making noise. Yes. Yeah, that means you can boast of whatever you want to boast of, but when it comes to love, you have failed. Mm. And when you read uh, you know, you know, the book of the gospel, you will see that Jesus addressed um, even infidelity in marriage and says that if you love your wife, keep her. Mm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So that means that the basis of us doing everything is what? Love. love. If you love her, keep her. All right? Mm -hmm. Yes, and the man is commanded to love the wife. And the wife is supposed to revere or respect mm. the husband. Like last week, we read sure. one by one. We're going to continue. The reason why I'm saying that is this. Um, if you say you love someone, okay, mm -hmm. um, it means that we should be able to um, overlook the mistakes of the person. Mm. Because love doesn't consider the mistakes of others. Mm -hmm. Because if, if you're going to love someone, but is subject unto something, then we have to define love. <laughs> but we want to define love according to what fits or suits mm. us. Okay? Not in respect to what is in the word of the Lord, but what we want to yes. put there and fix there. Mm -hmm. But then that is not what the Lord is talking mm. about. Because when we talk about love, um, love means that the person is going to mess up, mistakes is going to come, or mistakes are going to come. Mm -hmm. But you will, you will forgive or you will overlook it yes. and look at the person with the eyes of love. Mm. That is what it means. Yes, now, I believe that every marriage that collapses is based on the fact that there have been mistakes. Yes. And so people are not ready to overlook the mistakes. Mm -hmm. So they consider the mistakes to be part of the person. Mm. But you are not going to marry a perfect person. Mm. You are going to marry someone that you're going to study with. You go and ask the parent of the person whether or not there were no mistakes in the person's life. Mm -hmm. But they've been accommodating it because yes. there is a love of a parent yes, that is exhibited. Mm. But you go to take the person and live with the person, whether man or woman, mm -hmm. And you think they must actually be shaped overnight mm. according to the standards that you have brought in the marriage with. And that is what expectation is what collapses everything. Mm. So one, once one is disappointed, then what I was expecting is not this one yes. that I'm experiencing. Mm -hmm. Then I need to work out. Yes. And uh, let me submit to you that then you will work out on any other relationship or marriage that you enter yes, into. Sir because you can never find a perfect person such as the Lord Jesus Christ mm -hmm. on earth. But you will find somebody who is growing into perfection. Yes, sir. So anyone who is growing into perfection, okay, there will be a lot of mistakes that will be happening in the lives of the person before the person gets unto maturity. Mm. So when you go into marriage, all of us are carrying the seed of marriage. When we talk about the seed of marriage, that means the knowledge of marriage is not yet there. So it is a seed mm. that we have. Okay. So we plant it together and then we begin to live life together. Now, when we begin to live life together, the experiences and the exposures that we get in marriage becomes our experiences, mm. becomes our knowledge that is added on. Okay. So we build on each other, okay? It's like the way you build, um, you know, yeah, you, you lay blocks to build buildings. Mm -hmm. So you build on each other, okay, and perfect the way you are doing your mm. things. But if you expect everything to change overnight in the person's life, that's when the disappointment comes because the expectation of changing someone overnight is the issue. Mm. Now, you have to understand as a child of God that when we are born again, that is a work that was done by Jesus Christ. And this was done eternally. The Bible says through the eternal spirit offered yes. his blood for the salvation of our mm -hmm. souls. Now, this work was done, the Bible says, from the foundations of the world. But in the fullness of time, he revealed his son to come mm -hmm. and die, okay, so that what was done in the beginning or eternally in the beginning will be fulfilled in the latter days. Okay. That's what the Bible says. Yes, sir. Now, and when we are born again, we receive that spirit 
that makes us new again, mm. that new creation spirit that makes us new, okay? Yes. Instantly, at once. Mm -hmm. But we are left here as children of God to go through the experience of the word of God, mm. to grow to maturity so we can taste the eternal blessedness of mm. God for that particular kind of word, yes, person. Mm. Because, it, and that is not done overnight. Mm. That renewal of mind is done through a process. Okay. Even God who desired to bring many offspring unto justification allows time for development mm. and for growth. Mm. So you can never grow one day. You can never mature one mm. day. It takes, time it takes time to grow. All right? Mm -hmm. So when we marry, we should be able to allow our spouses to grow. Mm. And we should, we should go in it with love and allow time for that growth. Mm. So whatever that we do not like, we should educate each other so that we can come to a level playing field mm. that this is what we are looking for. Yes. But if the kind or the type of um, paste to use and the, and, and, and the size of even the food we mm. like and the type and all of that can cause a divorce, mm. then it means we are just going, we just went into the mind to express our immaturity. Yes. And babies don't marry. And selfishness. Yes, and selfishness, because that's what I want, mm. and that's what this one wants, and that's what breaks marriages. Sure. And, and, and a lot of people should understand these things, mm. okay? Men and women, and especially women, because they get disappointed easily. Mm. So they, they should understand it. It's a process. You cannot, you see, you think that um, maybe my husband is not the type that communicates with me easily, mm. but there's another man that is trying to give me this comfort, mm. you know? And so every day he gets time to communicate with me. Sometimes you, look, you need to look at the kind of work the guy is doing. Mm. The engagement of the person mm -hmm. in, in his life. And the fact that when the person, you, maybe you leave your husband who is so busy and can communicate with you one, two, three times and all of that. Mm -hmm. But there's another kind that is always dedicated to speaking with you. <laughs> and he fills that emotional gap that you think you feel. Yes. And sometimes the reason is that you have nothing doing. Mm -hmm. And so people who have nothing doing, the devil finds work for the idle hand. Yes. So one of the works the devil will find is to, create, is to create that vacuum in you so that you feel that that emotional gap is not what? It's not fulfilled. Mm -hmm. So I don't have anybody talk to me. My husband doesn't talk to me. So I must find somebody else who can mm -hmm. talk to me. Now, that is where the problem comes. Because you are not engaging your hands in any meaningful mm -hmm. thing, and you think that your husband should be able, who is working, should be able to stop his work and communicate with you all the time. But if he's not able to, another gentleman is able to do that. If that gent, if you should leave your husband for that gentleman, that gentleman comes to your house and you are not doing anything. He is not doing anything. Mm. All his life is dedicated to talking to you and talking with you. You will have problems just a few times to come yes. because you will not have anybody feeding you, mm. anybody paying the bills. Nothing will be working. Yes. And you will want to divorce the same person again. Mm -hmm. So your life will be a cycle of divorce. Oh, because mm -hmm. I bring in this one, there is a divorce. Mm -hmm. I bring in that one, there is a divorce. So there must be that time to grow. Mm -hmm. And understanding is the, is the issue. And yes. understanding is key mm -hmm. in this developmental process sure. because otherwise we will marry will be excited, weddings will be conducted, and they will break them. Mm. You know, a lawyer, like, was, you know, one of my lawyers was, to was talking to me about divorce, the rate of divorce in, mm -hmm. in, our, in our court system, and that they, they, they do not even have dates now for people who are freshly mm. um, coming into divorce. But every day in, day out, there are marriages that are being yes. conducted. Ordinance marriage and mm. customary marriage, all those kind of marriages. But day in, day out, there are marriages that are going to court to break them. Mm. Because a lot of people are disappointed. And they think that once I am doing this quickly, there's another waiting. Mm -hmm. Because there's another alternative. Yes. And the alternative is also about to go. Why? Because, you know, what you don't like in A, you find other things in B that you also do not like. Mm -hmm. So it's about perfecting A and mm. staying with A, A, period. Yes. Now, that has been the challenge with many people. 
So when you go into the word of God and you find out something that God has presented, mm -hmm. who created the institution of marriage has presented, and you ignore it, you pay the price. And that is love. Mm. And that lo kind of love that God is talking about is the love that overlooks things because you cannot say you love somebody only when the person is doing only perfect things. Yes. Because if you love me because I am doing good things, then that is not love. Because what if I begin to do bad things? Mm. Or what if I, I begin to have a challenge in my life? Then you don't love me anymore. Mm. And that is the kind of problems that we have been facing. So we need to go back and understand what love is. Yes. So that, you know, once we understand the kind of love that God has spoken about the love for the husband, because the love of the husband for the, for wife. the wife. It's mm -hmm. like the love of Christ for the, the church. church. Mm -hmm. The church messes up all the time. Mm. We disappoint God all mm -hmm. the time. We decide when to go to church, when not to go. Mm. Sometimes we can time God all the time. And yet he has a big heart to accommodate us. Yes. And, 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 and tell us that, you know, there is a place of forgiveness. So once you acknowledge that mistake and you ask for forgiveness, mm -hmm. it is done for you. Yes. And that is why everybody, when you have messed everything up, you still have hope that when I go back to God, when I go back to the church, Jesus will forgive me. Mm -hmm. You have that hope inside of you. Now, was somebody that you are married, okay, to have that hope in you, mm. that even if I do something wrong, I will still come to my husband and my husband will still love me mm. and will forgive me. Will that person have that hope? Yes, that's the big question. That is the issue. And that is the reason why we keep doing all the things we, we, we're mm. doing. Because we think that, A, because it's about all of this is, is actually classified under character, mm. behavior, behavioral patterns. Yes. Different kind of behaviors with people. Yes, sir. And so we think that um, our expectation with this one has failed. So when we go to this one, this one will be able to perform. And then we get to this one to see that there are certain basic things in the first one that even yes. the second one doesn't know. Yes. Then you begin to be more disappointed. Yes. So some become disillusioned with marriage. Good. <laughs> Good apostle. That's 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 the point. Mm. So we 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 need to follow what the word of God said. Mm. That is why I said that. Um, we can, we can do all kinds of marriage seminars and teach people sexual patterns, teach people characteristics of things and all of those things. Listen, if there's no definition, the proper definition of love is yes. still in each of them, mm -hmm. they will go and still come yes, back. Sure. Regardless of all the seminars so that we have done say. about, yes. about mm -hmm. marriage. Mm -hmm. You can talk about all the styles you need in bed and all of that. It doesn't keep marriage, doesn't mm. keep people together. What keep people together? You see, after all the acrobatics, there can be some provocation, just, you know, a simple thing. Yes. And, and that will collapse, after the enjoyment, and that will collapse mm. everything. And they will even remember that there has been any no, enjoyment no, 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 no. five minutes ago. Everything will collapse. Yes, sir. And that is the, the only thing that can sustain the marriage is the love for each other. Yes. Because if you love someone, you are willing to forgive. Mm. And forgive means forgive. Yes. Meaning forgive. From the heart. Not forgiving and making references mm. at will each time there is anything. Yes. Otherwise, God will, if God was going to do the same thing for hey. us, you know, <laughs> so we sometimes have this double standard life. Mm -hmm. And we expect this, but we do not also want to mm. offer it. No, that is not what it is. Mm. So in marriage, okay, we should be committed to each other in love. Yes, sir. Not just the emotional love that I'm mm. talking about. Agape. Now, because if it is emotional love, all right, mm -hmm. you know, when you meet someone you love, okay, the, the emotional love becomes the first measurement. Mm -hmm. Because the emotional love in it has the desire, yes. strong desire, which has passion, mm -hmm. okay? It's a passionate desire. Yes. Okay, it is characterized by that. So you begin to, when you are even talking to the person on the phone, there's that strong desire to be with the person. Yes. Now, the moment you guys settle down and you are together with the person, that desire is dead. Mm. It's, gone. it's gone. It fades off. Mm. So you no longer have that desire to even call the person or 
because it's no longer a desire. Yes. Now it is a calculated attempt mm. to call the person. It is a deliberate attempt. Yes. You have to be deliberate about mm -hmm. it. You have to think through that. Mm -hmm. I need to call her. Yes. My wife, I need to speak to her. Mm -hmm. I need to address her as this. Yes. I need to be talking to her. It, this one is no longer a desire. Mm. It should be a, an intentional about it, intentional about it mm -hmm. Apostle. So that is the developmental side that we, we miss. Okay. Because when you enter into the marriage with the first kind of thing, because there are stages in uh, there are stages in exposure or experiences in marriage. Mm. Now, when you enter the marriage with that kind of fleshly desire, you know, like because you know, once you hear the voice of your sweetheart, you know, all the, um, uh, you know, all the department of your body is okay. actually, you know, yes. is turned on. You know, like, do you understand? Mm. Every part of your being want to see her. Mm -hmm. You can be poetic about your love mm. and all of that. But now you are living with her. That is the reality. Now, reality means that you've seen everything that you, you, you it used to cover. You, you, something used to cover it. Yes. You, are, you have seen it already. You have seen it all. Mm. You, you've tasted the food that you were salivating for. <laughs> you have, do you understand? Yes. Um, the, the amount that you wanted to, you just, you have done everything mm. now. So now is the time for you to be very intentional. Mm. And that is why a lot of people, when they feel that that emotional feeling mm. is no longer there, then it's like they don't love you anymore. That is not what love is. Mm. Love is actually developed whilst you live together. You're teaching. It's like a, a, a child that is born into a home and you come to love your parent when you, they take care of you, mm -hmm. you go to school processes, yes. they show you kindness, Spend they come to pick you. you all the time. Mm -hmm. It's a developmental thing. Okay. So you grow up feeling the love of the home, mm -hmm. you know, the support system is there. And they are intentional about yes. loving their children. Mm -hmm. If they are selfish, they will break the they will break the, the relationship between yes. a son, a daughter, and a father yes. or parents mm -hmm. kind of relationship. Yes. That is what men and women need in marriage. Mm. Because when you meet someone, whether you met the person in the bus or in a plane or at school or wherever, you actually understand that this is an emotional love mm. that you experience for each other. Once you start living together, okay? Living together. Mm -hmm. There are times you want your space, she wants her space. Yes. But you have to be intentional about coming together. Mm. You can make time you know, for each other, you can make time apart mm -hmm. of each other, but you still have to come together yes. again. Why? This one, you need to be intentional, mm -hmm. but you need to be very deliberate, yes. calculative, mm. that, oh, my, my wife is, I must go yes. and do this. But if you are selfish and you don't inculcate the habit of loving, mm. that is when you will not even care to be talking to her. You will not care to be doing this. Mm. You will not care. Like a lot of people are like that. And, and these are characteristics that ladies must must take out of their lives. Mm. Men must also take out of their lives, but especially ladies. Mm. And understand that love is developed. It's developed. The love you used to feel when nobody was telling you about anything. When the guy's voice, you would just hear his voice or his text message and you would jump up. It all will fade off mm. when you enter into the real yes. relationship or the marriage. Yes. So now you need to be deliberate about mm. it. Now, when the person hears your testimony, he won't jump because he's probably seen it all. Mm. He won't jump again. But he, the person must also what? Make time, make deliberate time, time okay. to be testing you and to be talking mm. to you. And that is what we miss. And it's an experience that somebody has to teach us mm. about it. Yes, we have to be taught about yes, this. Yes, this is a blessing. Yes. This, certainly is this a one blessing. is a reality. Yes. Yeah. The wow. person cooks. It's, it, there's not every day that uh, like a wife is going to um, have um, victories mm. or, you know, over their husband with respect to food. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you will cook, it will be nice. Sometimes the lady, the same person who cooked and it was nice, mm -hmm. will cook and it looks like... Mm, you understand? Mm -hmm. It looks something. Yes. Yes. But the husband would have to what, pretend that it is nice mm. and swallow them up quickly. <laughs> and pretend nothing has happened yes, and then you know like uh -huh. because if everything is what you're going to say it's not nice mm -hmm. you, you there will be trouble there will be trouble 
So that, that's how it is. You are not <laughs> going to have... There are times the ladies too, you experience the same kind man and all of that. Somebody, sometimes who come from work and is not in the mood. Yes. And he's, you know, like... Um, and his face looks like some chimpanzee or something. <laughs> and, but you need to be able to understand that mm. swing. That, okay, mm. let me accommodate this one. Yes. And let me be matured in mm. dealing with this. Mm. Let me not be emotional. Because those kind of, you know, attachment is what kills everything. Mm. Yes. Wow. The way it talks about making allowances for one another. Yes. And for bearing with one another. Yes. So, would that be an example of that? Of where... course, bearing, bearing mm -hmm. with each other. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. That, it's just like um, a, a child of God that is told, bear with each other's burden. Yes. So, that is part of the instructions that mm -hmm. we've been given. If you read this part of, of the word of the Lord, it's very important. It says, um, Ephesians chapter 5, verse... Um, Verse 7, he says that, that he, the husband, must present what? Her to okay, himself, a glorious church. Yes, 27. Okay. Yes, do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes. So what it means is that when you read the 26, he says that he must sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word. Yes. So consider it as the man mm -hmm. washing and cleansing her, his wife. Yes. So that he will present his wife. So, so it means that Jesus married, okay, like a maiden woman or a virgin woman who is inexperienced, mm. who doesn't even know how to wash and present herself holy. So Jesus is responsible for loving her, cleansing mm. her, washing her, so that Jesus will present her holy. Yes. And Jesus said, this is an example I want you to follow. Mm. That means you marry an inexperienced person, you marry somebody who was not clean, mm. you marry somebody who was not sanctified, but you, the husband, nourish her, mm. feed her, teach her knowledge, yes. and sanctify her so you can present her yes. holy before. Holy before. Mm. So let, let's see it. He says that he might present her to himself, a glorious church, yes. not having what? Spot or, or wrinkle or wrinkle or any such mm. thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. Mm. Now, but Jesus took the church with blemish. Mm -hmm. But Jesus want to present the church without blemish. blemish. So, in fact, the church, which is her, the bride, becomes holy without blemish in the house of the Lord mm. Jesus. So the wife, when she becomes your wife in your home, that is where the Lord expects you to train her, mm. love her, cherish her, cleanse her, and nourish her, and present her without blemish, without spot, without wrinkle. Mm. And has so, once have work to do. Where does this thing happen? In, in your house. Yes. In the marriage. Yes. So you can't have a perfect person overnight. Mm. It's taking time for the Lord to work perfectly on us. Mm. Now he says this. <laughs> so husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. bodies. You see the way you spend on your body. You see the way you want to buy good shoes, mm. good dresses. You want to look good yes. among your friends. Perfume and all that. You want to perfume yourself so that when people see you, they can smell something mm. good about you. The Lord says, love your wife like the way you love your body. Mm. Love your head like the way you love your body. Okay? Mm. Then he says that. So you see, with this development, it's when Jesus loved the church more. He loved you died for you, but you have actually been taken into his house. Mm -hmm. And that is where he's nourishing you again, seeing your weaknesses, your mistakes, and your strength, so that he can point onto your strength, mm. deal with your weakness, and present you holy, mm. unblameable, without spot. Yes. And this happens in the marriage. Mm. And that is why Jesus is coming for the marriage supper of the Lamb. Now, we need to understand that if we are exemplifying this particular process in our homes, how would the process be like in your house? Mm. That you are supposed to nourish her, feed her, yes. teach her. Mm. You know, do you understand? Yes. Cause her to grow yes. so Sanctify. that she will be without spot, without wrinkle. That yes. means perfect women are women in marriage. Mm. Women who have stayed in marriage yes. and mature in marriage. Those who are perfect women. Yes. Who love them. 
and they have husbands who love them. Mm. Now, it takes a human being to be a husband, yes. not an animal. Mm. Today, people can marry dogs, but I'm talking about human beings. Yes, sir. Now, are you hearing my point yes, now? Yes, sir. Yes. So, husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. Mm. Okay? He who loves his wife loves himself. Mm. That means when you love your wife, you love yourself. Yes. This is a, this is a great mystery. Yes, sir. If you love your wife, yes. you love yourself. yourself. Because you're one flesh. If you love your wife, mm. you love what? Yourself. yourself. Okay. But no we stand because we are teaching both sides. Yes. And the woman, okay, who has, you know, like they have vast emotional needs. She also understand that the man also have vast emotional needs. Yes. You know, and, and a lot of people are also like, um, and I think this will help a lot of people. And I teach it and I say all the time. Mm. That sometimes people, like especially women, they measure love based on emotional prizes. Mm. They put prizes on certain, um, certain things. So women, a lot of them feel that the more you, if you love them, you will spend on them. Yes. So the more you spend on them, it means you love them. Yes. Now, if that is the spending on a woman or spending on someone is a measurement of love, then men don't feel love at all mm. because women don't spend on men. <laughs> because spending on someone is not a measurement of love. Mm. Mm. Because if it is, why wouldn't women feel free to express their love by spending on their husbands? <laughs> Because yes, most women, and I, I've, I've, I've actually spoken, you know, mm. the work we do, we engage a lot of couples. Yes. Most women, the highest gift they can give to a man is a perfume and then boxer shorts and underwears. <laughs> Especially on their birthdays. It's a fact. Maybe the, to every kind of rule, there's an exception. I, so yes. I, I... There are exceptions. Yeah, there are exceptions. There are people who can be nice. They yes. can... They can even buy a car for yes, a husband. husband yes. They can even build a house and mm. dash to a husband. Those are extremes. Yes. All right? Exceptions to the rule. Yes. But it's not, it's not the, the norm. Yes. It's not the norm, mm. as we know, that yes. a woman will just give you her card, go shopping with it. I tell you that she'll be on her phone calculating everything <laughs> you are shopping. <laughs> because they are very calculating when it comes to you know, the money they've worked for. <laughs> because... Their emotional makeup was not built that way. Mm. So that is not what men see before they spend on you. Yes. I, I, I hope yes, you understand. Sir. And and sometimes you will never be able to know all the emotional needs of a woman. Sometimes mm. you are spending on her and then you feel that is her, her love language. language. And then she, sw she switches to another one. Yes. Because she sees um, a friend's husband adoring the, hus uh, the wife mm -hmm. with words, flowers and things. And she switches. And then she now needs that one. Yes. And she expects you to know. Meanwhile, that was, you, you used to do that. She was not pleased with it. Yes. You switch. So that's how it is. Mm. So a, a woman becomes like a steady. Like a whole um, discipline mm. that you need to study. And that's a lot of work. Yes. So the man must understand these things. Mm. Prophet of God, I'm so enjoying this that if I'm not careful, we'll not get to pray for the people like uh, <laughs> like want us to do. So viewers, we're going to go on a break. The man of God will continue the series for a while. And so we're going to go for a break. And then when we return, the man of God will be praying and for us. And if there's any other thing you would add, you do so. So stay tuned. We'll be right back after this break. I mark her in the name of Jesus. Soon, soon will the Lord open my eye. That's why worship is important. And I saw in the realm of the spirit, I lose your name from any camp of the devil, any chronic headaches and fever. Yes, Lord. They want to attack your life, your health. Life in Jesus' name. Man. Come out. Out of here. Out. Every attack of the devil against your life, I cancel it. Man. Every attack of the spirit, evil world, opening up unto things against you, to fight your favor and your importance, I cancel it. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Somebody shout glory be to Jesus. Amen. This is the Global Prayer Palace. This and every Thursday at 14 Boundary Road, 
East Legon, Accra, also live on World Wide Web Television on YouTube. Light the world with the word of life. Word of life. This is a word of life with the Lost General Prophet John Anoche. Welcome back to the Word of Life live broadcast with Prophet John Anochi. I'm sure that you are enjoying um, this as much as I am, but time is of the essence. Man of God, we have just uh, a few minutes to go. Um, I know that people want to become partners because they want you to spend a longer time on set, and I know that you are willing to do so. And so for as long as you're also willing to partner, the man of God is ready to release the wisdom and the knowledge that the Lord has given him. So man of God, I don't know if you have something to say before we start praying for the people of God. Yes, yeah, so um, once the Lord has laid on our mm. hearts to be able to help marriages yes. grow, and um, the individuals are the ones who form marriages, yes. so um, we need to grow, we need to spend time together, mm. we need to grow in the knowledge of the Word of God. Mm. And um, if, if men are going to study the subject of love according to as the Bible has presented mm -hmm. it, I think it will, do, um, it will do good to a lot of families. Yes, it will yes, do sir. good to a lot of people mm. in, in, in the family. And uh, because if you, if you love someone, you put your pride aside mm. and um, you continue to love the person. And usually that is the, the ego and the pride is what kills everything. Mm. When, that is the work that is with men. And a lot of, some of the ladies also have that. Mm. So we need to work on it and know that we need to have understanding. Understanding is coming to the same platform. Mm. Okay? Sure. Yes, coming to the same platform. So we need to be able to stand on the same platform and make meaning to each other. Mm. That is why we can actually talk about, and sometimes when um, marriage is about to break, everybody is right. The, the man is right, yes. the woman is right, okay. And, and sometimes, um, w some of the things that collapses relationships and marriage, not only marriage, but every other, every other, every other relationship, relationship, like yeah. friendships and all of that, is when the person is um, a record keeper of the wrong. Yes. When, when you are a, rock, a record keeper of the wrong, mm. thinking that you keep records of people, uh, people wronging you, yes. but you have not wronged anybody. Mm. That, is, that, that, is, that is when the Lord sits in heaven and says that even your looks have wronged someone. Yes. So you see, that is one of the, the things we need pride. to drop, yes. yes. And, and that is hypocrisy and mm. that is um, childishness, like and it, it's not maturity at mm. all. So in, in order for us to be able to build on each other, we need to drop some kind of extreme things mm. because these are extreme stuff. And we need to recognize that this is what is it. Yes, you know, like we would talk about the fact that this is who I am, this is how I grew up, this is what it is. No, everybody, if you want to stick with what you grew up with, the world will not be a safer place for you. Mm. But if you want the world to be a peaceful and safer place for you, you need to drop some of the things yes. you need to learn and relearn. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes. So that you can, you can, you can be accommodated in mm. every environment. Mm. Because there are places when you, you get to, the kind of behavior from your family won't, that you have picked from your family won't suffice there. Yes. It won't work. Mm -hmm. You need to quickly adapt. Yes. You need to change. Because other everybody will see you as some kind of caricature. Mm. So that is what people must embrace. Mm. It's important. Mm. They must switch easily. Yes. And, and, and so you must be very smart in doing that. Mm. People who are like that are the ones who are intelligent, who are smart. Yes. Do you understand? And they have understanding. Ready to adapt. They, they are ready to adapt. That mm. is what it is. So um, they must understand these things that we are teaching. Mm. The basis of what we are teaching is love. That is why I'm saying that if somebody says, I love you, and it's a true love, which the word of God has defined. The mm. one who instituted marriage has instituted the solution to the problems of marriage, and that is love. Mm. And that love is not just the emotional love mm. that you have for your spouses. This is the developmental love yes. that you develop to present somebody whole mm. without wrinkles. That means the person is full of mistakes. It's just like a teacher teaching a student in, the, in, in, in class. Mm. And the, the, there are so many inadequacies of the student, but the teacher grooms the person, have patience for mm. the person, and teaches the person over and over and over again until you present your student as a brilliant student for the yes. exams. When he passes the exams, the teacher is happy. Yes. So it, it is a work that you are mm. supposed to be doing. Mm. So marriage is a work we have to supposed to work on mm. each other. That is the understanding. You know, nobody came into marriage to, we came into marriage to enjoy. We will enjoy when we have actually worked, yes. worked things out. But nobody is willing to work things out and you want to enjoy. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work that way. In this world, everything is about work. Mm -hmm. So the output 
is as a result of the input. Yes, sir. So you have to input in some things mm. so you can communicate the data. Amen. Amen. And get enjoyment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, um, you know, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I want us to pray for families right yes. now. Every family, that, every family that is represented, mm. every family that... Um, so this morning, all the families that are represented on, on, um, on wherever you are, whether you're watching on social media, you're watching around the world through Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, and, um, um, you know, um, Apple, TV. Apple TV, and then um, our platform, which is the application, which is um, um, Android or iOS, yes, or wherever you're TV. watching, India to UK to US to... Uh, Brazil to Mexico to Caribbean, mm. like everywhere that you're watching from, Asia and all of that. Mm. In Ghana here, watching via Metro TV and all the other platforms. I want you to gather yourself together with your family mm. in your living area. And I want you to hold hands and let's begin to pray. Thank let's you, impact the peace of God, mm. the love of God that surpasses all understanding yes. unto your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. There's no one who is perfect in marriage. I'm mm. telling you, you know, that is why a pastor can divorce. That is why a house of mommy can divorce. Mm -hmm. And that is why a president can divorce. That yes. is why an elder can, a deacon can divorce. But sometimes when this happens, we are quick to judge, but we don't understand um, the, the pressing issues in it. Mm. And so we need to pray. Hallelujah. Praise and any institution that has a lot of blessing, which is marriage, okay, um, has the devil's eye also on it, yes. and he's willing to collapse them. Mm. So we need to pray and, and, and keep the devil out of this. Mm. But as we are praying, we are then also teaching the knowledge of it, because some of the things will be solved by the knowledge. Yes. Some of the things are ignorant, total ignorant. Yes. That is what brings all these things. Everybody is trying to bring what they know from their mm. families into that marriage. That is not what it is. We need to create one platform where the husband comes and is comfortable, the wives come and is comfortable, so we can lead the marriage. It's wisdom, hallelujah. So let's stretch forth our hands and begin to pray right now. Oh, As we pray, we, de we liberate the marriages from bondages, yes, from shackles Lord. of the enemy in the name of Jesus. The Ma Kato Shapada. Ma so Father, in the name of, Jesus. In the name of we Jesus. Jesus, we thank you, my Father, for Father, marriages around the world. Marriages, Makaba, in the name of Jesus, that everyone that is watching, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, by the power of the Holy Ghost, men of God, support me. We are praying in the name of Jesus. We are speaking into marriage. Marriages right now, in the name by of the Jesus power of the Spirit Father, of God, thank you. Marriages, marriages that have been controlled by the devil, marriages that have been controlled by ignorance, we cast it out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, families that are suffering from, in the name of the devastation of divorces, we break that spirit of divorce. Yes, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Spirit of God, pray with me wherever you are. Unless so Asha, this is the family time. Pray with me. Masata Kabashanda. Mele Brosco Fele Broshaba. Le Basata Kashata. Rebo Shaba. Husbands, pray with me. Wives, pray with me. Children, pray for your parents right now. In the name of Jesus. Fathers, mothers, pray for your children who are in marriage. In the name of Jesus. Quite the Son of God will embrace their marriages. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, from the bondage of slavery, in the name of Jesus, from the devices of the devil, in the name of Jesus, from the devices of demons against marriages, by the power of the Holy Ghost, enchantment, by the Spirit of God, in the name of Jesus, 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 in Le basse finima campanoske, in mantani basha barabosha ba, mantara bosha barabosha da, repete kompali baba, me zenos kofila brandeska, le bosso fila basha da, mashata kapara dosha, repete te, esanga ne me katua na basha, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, thank you Holy Spirit of God, we rescue marriages, in the name of Jesus, from makatosha, from pain. In the name of Jesus, Apado Shaba, Rebel Shaba from lack, from poverty. In the name of Jesus, from afflictions. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the 
Spirit of God, in the name of Jesus, man call him Baba Shanda, le braso panaga, el kene Shanda, man zen ten tele boshan, rapado shaba, we speak in Jesus name, la bado shen ten tele boshan, e pata fanoska, now we speak the peace of God into marriage, we speak life into marriage, we speak man katosha, now we speak solutions into every marriage, right now in the name of Jesus, Amen. we speak solution, we Amen. speak peace, we speak love, yes, Lord. in the name of Jesus, Amen. we speak emotional affection, yes, we Lord. speak affection, we speak intimacy, Amen. we speak in the name of Jesus, we speak finances, Amen. in the name of Jesus, we Amen. cast out poverty, yes. now begin to speak Makatosha, speak finances yes, into marriages, speak peace into marriages, speak love into marriages, Kapatosha, emotional affection, love for each other, in the name of Jesus, Makapamucha, Respect, yes. We speak in the name of Jesus, the Son of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Repeketesha, esofidaba, mantale bakosha. Repetoni mama. We speak love. We speak affection. We speak emotional rubber needs met. We speak finances. We speak makatosha. Repeketesha. Understanding. We speak understanding. We speak no. Knowledge. We speak in the name of Jesus. Maraba awareness. We speak Makata. The ability to work on each other and love each other and care for each other. Accommodate each other. In Jesus' mighty name. The Son of God. We speak in the name of Jesus. Patience. Makata. We speak in an endurance. In the name of Jesus. We speak stability. In the name of in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, 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 Marapatoshke Peregosha, Rababosha, in the name of Jesus. Now I speak peace into every marriage. Let there be peace. Let there be prosperity. Let there be increase. Let there be understanding. Let there be knowledge. In the name of Jesus, we banish ignorance from the marriages. In the mighty name of Jesus, let every evil shackles be broken. Every affliction be broken. Amen. We cast out devils, Amen. demons, Amen. from marriages, yes. from homes. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we speak affection. Marrakesh. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we speak love into yes, the marriage. Lord. In the name of Amen. Jesus, thank you, my Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Lord. You are the mender of broken oh, homes. Dush, you yes, are the one who mends broken homes. Yes, Lord. We command and we cast oh, out the spirit of divorce yes. from homes in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. The Son of the Living God. Yes, we speak understanding yes. to every marriage Amen. that is conducted today. Yes, that is actually being done today. Yes, Marriages that have been done. Yes. People that are living as couples oh, in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Lord. You have heard us. Yes, Lord. Thank you for the we peace of God you, that they are enjoying. Yes, Lord. Thank you for the prosperity. Oh, thank you, Some Father. of the marriages are, 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 are breaking because of financial exposure. Yes, we That's speak true. finances into the marriage. In the name of Jesus, Amen. breakthroughs and open doors Amen. for men and women yes, in marriage. Lord. In Jesus' Amen. mighty name. Thank you, Father, thank you, for your power and your glory. In Jesus' name. Somebody clap here and celebrate Amen. Jesus. It is done. Hallelujah. It glory is done. God. It is done. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Anoint your home, mm. anoint your husband, mm. anoint your wife, mm. anoint the place that you are. Mm. Say, Father, the anointing of God's Spirit is here for the peace of God in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And if you have been facing any challenge in your marriage, I recommend that you contact us. Mm. And then I recommend a program for you. It's a weekly you know, event, yes. which is called the Global Prayer Palace, yes, where the prophet of God, myself mm. and my team, we take time to minister unto mm. people. And God reveals a lot of secrets and mysteries. Yes. And then we actually give directions and directives so that people can be blessed. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, Last God. week I picked a couple up. I'm dealing with the issue mm. and hopefully the Lord his spirit in the name of Jesus will come upon them and there will be peace and they will live together happily again yes. in Jesus name you are yeah. blessed I salute you join me also on Sunday for the you know uh, word of, um, tree, of fruit, tree of life service okay where I teach and minister the mysteries of Christ to people come and learn and be blessed you are blessed hallelujah I love you so much Lord. let the love of Jesus keep you in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, hallelujah. And can you know that the Global Prayer Palace is every Thursday at 5 p.m.? Every Thursday at 5 p.m. So make a day to touch. You can join us virtually. If you're outside of Accra, you'll still be blessed. Hallelujah. God bless you so much. You can also 
pray and then become a partner. Many of you talk about the fact that you like the man of God to teach longer. So if you partner, it will make it much easier for us to stay on longer and then bring you the word of God and also pray with you. God bless you so much. Join us in time next week for another powerful episode of the Word of Life Live broadcast with Prophet John Anochi. We love you so much. Jesus Christ is Lord. Enjoy your weekend. Light the world with the word of life. Word of life. This is a word of life with the Lord's General, Prophet John Anochi. We trust you've enjoyed today's broadcast. For more information, visit www.johnanochiministries.org, www.worldwidewordministries.org, or call 0302-507-154 or 0540-996-670. This broadcast is made possible by partners of John Anochi Ministries.